Warner Brothers Discovery coming off a nearly 10 percent uh, drop on Friday. The media company reporting weak quarterly results, a decline in linear TV ad revenue, also uh, failing uh, to provide free cash flow guidance for 2024. Join us now on the company and the challenges uh, facing CEO David Zaslav is uh, Tom Rogers, Orbit uh, executive chairman, former NBC cable president and a CNBC contributor. And um, we know David, uh, we worked with David. You worked with him for years and years and years, Tom. He, he doesn't like when stocks don't go up and he's not used to it, uh, having been at Discovery and, and done so well there. But there are uh, realities of this business that um, I'm not sure anyone knows exactly what to, to do and how to make stocks go up at this point. Well, it's in a tough position, Joe. Um, and uh, you're right, there's no uh, clear playbook as to how traditional media companies can play this environment. Uh, look, uh, David's proved they uh, know how to take out cost and got some help from the various strikes in terms of uh, being able to take out cost more. Uh, they've proved they can delever using the cash flow that they're generating to, to pay down debt, although the timeline on uh, how much they will delever by when has been stretched out some. Uh, the big question hanging over the company is, uh, can it grow? And uh, that's a, a big question. They got really hit on advertising revenue. Uh, the networks, uh, particularly domestically, uh, according to Brian Weiser, who's probably the, the best uh, advertising analyst out there, looks like an 18 percent decline on domestic network uh, ad revenues. That's very, very tough to, to make up. And it looks like it's going to continue along that vein. And then their direct-to-consumer streaming stuff is really obscure. They put traditional HBO cable satellite in their streaming numbers. So what their real streaming numbers are really aren't out there. There were some headlines saying this was the first traditional media company to hit profitability on their direct-to-consumer operations. But again, that's with traditional HBO in there. And even with that, they lost money in the fourth quarter on all that. So the question is, uh, how do they prove they can grow? And that's what uh, is very unclear. They, uh, in terms of that, I don't know what we're calling it, but it, it, you know, some people have suggested trifecta for that sports streaming uh, entity. But out of the three entities involved, it, it, does Warner Brothers need to do it more, uh, Warner Brothers Discovery need to do it more than, than the other two players? Well, what they really need is to get the NBA renewed. Uh, if uh, TNT, Warner Discovery, doesn't get the NBA contract, I'm not sure that JV comes together uh, because that's a, an essential ingredient, I think, to having them uh, part of that club. And it's unclear to me that uh, they necessarily win this. I think uh, Comcast, NBC has some interest there. Uh, NBC obviously has a broadcast network, and I think the reach for professional sports leagues of a broadcast network continues to have uh, major appeal. So um, I'm not sure if they don't win that, that the, the JV uh, actually materializes. Um, and if they don't get the NBA, the hit they take to ad revenue, the hit they take to affiliate revenue is going to hugely accelerate the decline. So that's a, a must situation for them. If it does come together, yeah, I think there's a better argument to be made. When would, when would Zaslav decide he has to do something you know, really big, like get rid of something or, or I mean, what is, can he continue to pare down? What is it, 44 billion or something? Well, also, you're waiting or, on April. April is the big time. If they really want to sell the whole company, they can do it. Right. Remember, because of the spinoff, they couldn't do it. What, it, I mean, now, or CNN a tax, or they got a tax wait. perspective. But the yeah. taxes, I think breaking up the company, Tom, the taxes are, are a real tough issue, no? Yes, uh, it's, that's a, that's a tough scenario. Um, look, I think there, there are two players that have a lot of leverage over Warner Brothers Discovery. One, as I was just saying, is the NBA. I think it has enormous leverage in those discussions. And secondly is uh, 
Comcast, NBC, uh, I, I think if there is going to be a, a mega merger of traditional media companies, that's uh, far, far more likely than Warner and Paramount getting together. Uh, but uh, I think uh, Brian has most of the cards there in terms of if and when that were to happen. And I can't see that it's necessarily in their interest to, to do anything soon. Um, so uh, it's really a question of, of growth. And I, I think the time may be coming that they have to own up to whether renaming the streaming service Max was the, was the best idea here. Uh, they lost 2 million streaming subs year over year. They lost uh, half a million uh, domestic streaming subs in the fourth quarter. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, indication that in terms of pure engagement, despite all the Emmys that HBO wins, they're still down about 1% of uh, engagement of television time where they need to get much more above that. And so, you know, it, was that the right move? Is HBO still synonymous with quality? And uh, should they be moving back in a direction which lights that up for people who really want to look to it as the place to go for major uh, streaming television? It just The numbers don't really add up. I guess maybe it's some of the, the Magnificent Seven that, that have, you know, they have the market cap. I mean, it, you look at Comcast, that was 64. It's at 41. Um, Warner Brothers Discovery, look where, where that's traded. Disney was 200. Disney's 107. Where's the market cap? Where'd it go? Netflix even was over 700, so it's not even there. Where is it, Tom? What, what, Media is a great business. Where the hell is the, the where, where's the star? Well, Netflix is the star, clearly. Uh, yes, it's below its high, but it has been uh, continuing to climb since it uh, hit its low, and it's clearly separated itself from the rest of the pack, and it, it is highly profitable, generating massive cash flow, able to maintain uh, major uh, uh, programming budgets on the streaming side, and it has an international game, another area where Warner has uh, got its hands tied behind its back because in the UK, in Germany, in Italy, it's tied up with arrangements which make it more difficult for it to really develop uh, a, a global streaming service. So uh, I wouldn't put, I, I would say Netflix is going to continue to shine in ways the others are going to continue to struggle.